my channel. In today's video, we're going to do a thrift flip. We're going to take a couple things I bought at the thrift store that I would maybe call ugly, and we're going to add some little playful touches to them and turn them into something that you would really want to actually hang on your wall. All right, let's make something. The first piece I found was this moon mirror. I thought it had a great concept, but the colors and styling needed some updating. To do this project, I used liquid gold leaf paint, black paint, white paint, neon paints, brushes, and cut up dish sponges. Before I started painting, I covered the mirror area with a sheet of paper I cut to fit in the center of the piece. Then I started by painting a coat of white paint over the entire piece. This didn't have to be perfect, it was just going to help prevent any of the original paint from showing through. Next, in the area where the stars were, I painted that whole space black. I also used a smaller brush to get right up to the line of the moon shape. Then I took the liquid gold leaf paint and painted the moon. I love this stuff. It applies so easily and has such a great metallic finish. I painted in all the little crevices of the face and right up to the edge of the black. After letting the black and gold paint dry, I taped off the gold area before starting the next step. Taking little cut up pieces of the dish sponge, I just started lightly sponge painting the three neon colors all around the black area. For this, it's a good idea to start off with a light sponging of colors because you can always go back and add more paint as you go. Switching back and forth between each of the colors, I just kept sponging until I was satisfied with the overall look. Next, to make this have a really true galaxy feel, I splatter painted a little white paint over the entire area using a small brush. And then I went back in with a bobby pin and added little specks of stars over the entire area. Then to add a little finishing touch, I gave the moon a little eyeliner and mascara using a very thin brush. And there you have it! You can just remove the paper from the center and you have a gold galaxy mirror. The next project was something I saw Mr. Kate do on her channel, which I will link to in the description box below. I found this pair of two bird images and thought they would be a fun set to do a neon color blocked painting over. For this project I used a painter's tape, a paintbrush, white paint, and two contrasting neon paints. To start, I taped off each painting diagonally across with painter's tape. Because I was going to be painting over the frame itself, it was important to get into each little crevice of the frame with the tape to prevent any paint from getting under the tape. I repeated this on the second frame, but in a contrasting diagonal direction. Then I painted a nice coat of white paint over the left side of the piece. On the other piece, I painted to the right side of the tape. Next, it was time to paint the colors over the white painted areas. Depending on the brand of paint you use, you may need to do a few coats. I needed to do quite a few with this pink color since it was so streaky. However, this neon yellow color went on really nice and I only had to do one coat. Then it was time for the best part, peeling the tape off. Oh, this is so satisfying to see the nice crisp line. 
And there you have it, two color blocked paintings ready to hang on your gallery wall. The third project was such a fun one, turning this horse image into a rainbow tween dream. To do this, I used fake flowers, rainbow paint colors, a paintbrush, painter's tape, assorted gems, and a glue gun. I started by taping off the inside of the frame over the glass. I did this because I was going to be painting the frame itself. To get into the corners, it helped to cut the tape with the scissors to get a crisp edge. Then, like in the other two projects, I started by painting a nice coat of white over the entire frame since it was such a dark color to start with. Next, it was time to start adding color. I had four colors that were each going to be painted onto one side of the frame. Again, depending on your brand of paint you use, you may or may not need to do multiple coats. After these colors were dry, I carefully removed the tape from the glass and it was time to start painting over the image. Again, before painting with any colors, I painted a base of white paint wherever I was going to paint the colors. I just kind of freehandedly painted wherever their manes were and extended and exaggerated their flowing locks. I also thought it would be fun to continue the painting onto and over the edge of the frame. Then, using a rainbow palette of colors, I painted over wherever I had painted white paint. There really is no right or wrong here, just kind of switching up the colors as I moved along, and because I was going to be gluing flowers over some of the main, I wasn't too worried about the painting being perfect, I just wanted it to be fun and colorful. Certain colors did need multiple coats, so I went back in and did a second coat of paint after the first coat was dry. Then I hot glued a variety of fake flowers kind of sporadically over the horse's mane and added some gems to add sparkle and complete the collage. And now a little bonus part of this project, I knew I couldn't just keep these as regular horses, they were meant to be unicorns. So using a little Mod Podge and some gold glitter, I added a unicorn horn to each of the horses. I think those turned out so fun. They're so unique and playful and are gonna be the perfect addition to any gallery wall. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.